Cisco has put together a 1080p desk camera that can be mounted to an external monitor, laptop, or even a tripod. This desk camera offers high quality video and two omnidirectional microphones that can help with background noise reduction. So the quality out of this thing is absolutely great for the price that you pay for this thing. It also is Cisco certified and offers best in class privacy when it comes to backend security, as well as a physical privacy screen that is cleverly implemented into the camera's housing. This Cisco desk camera is compatible with all well-known meeting platforms and video applications as well. Before we get into this video though, I want to offer my full disclosure. WebEx reached out to me and was kind enough to sponsor this video. They also provided me with this awesome 1080p desk camera so I can give you a walk around of what it looks like and also take you through its features. With that out of the way, this webcam brings high quality audio and video to those of you that work from home. This thing fits right in and is almost a perfect solution for those those of you or any of you that do hybrid or telework as well. This desk camera is also a perfect solution for those of you out there that have a laptop that you dock between work and home and you want to have more control over your video conferencing setup. This Cisco desk camera may be the perfect solution for those types of setups because now you can dock your laptop in clamshell mode and still have access to high quality audio and video without any of the hassle. I can't tell you how many times I've had to undock my work laptop just to open it and hop on a video call just because I needed to get access to the webcam features. Not to mention that most laptops have their microphones placed inside of the laptop's enclosure and that makes it difficult to take calls as well. With the Cisco desk camera, no longer are the days of sounding muffled on a call because I forgot to open the laptop to get clearer audio when I was on just a voice call. The other benefits to this camera is its application in an organization with a centralized and fully managed IT department. As it gives those folks the tools they need to deploy these as assets with a centralized device management. So now IT departments can better assist the people they support by providing them the tools they need to work from home more efficiently. Historically, if the web camera isn't built into the laptop itself, some smaller IT departments have had difficulty in supporting various external web cameras that the staff of their organizations use. This was very apparent with hybrid and telework applications when that became a thing. With this Cisco desk camera, IT departments can track, service, and support external webcams more efficiently, thus giving them the capability to service and give that support to those individuals of their departments or their organizations. Okay, so here's the Cisco desk camera 1080p. The packaging is very environmentally conscious um, and basic. It's not anything that you're gonna see flashy printing or anything like that because they are, you know, saving with that. So with that being said, there's some, uh, you know, serial numbers information there. Nothing really on the bottom as far as like what the box is and then nothing on the side here. Just showing that it's recycled material and whatnot. So getting into the box, right off the bat, you're presented with the camera. Let's go ahead and take that out of here and put it off to the side for a moment and then get into the base of the packaging. And this is also environmentally conscious because it's some sort of like paper mache material that is recycled and built into this packaging. Um, and then you get a USB type C to type A cable and that's all you get in the packaging. This is a little unfortunate because I think that you get a USB type C to USB type C in the 4K camera that Cisco offers as well. Okay, so right out of the box, you're gonna see the Cisco desk camera is put in this plastic protector that we're gonna get off here momentarily. It is packaged very, very well. First and foremost, you're gonna notice is the privacy screen. It's built in and integrated within the housing of the camera itself, and that's quite a nice feature. They're cleverly implemented, um, and there also is a record light that you can see. Here you can see within the light there, you see those two holes. Those are the omnidirectional microphones that do a really good job at noise cancellation in noisy environments and also focusing in on the subject that is being presented on the camera. So this has a multifunctional folding design which will allow you to mount it on top of a laptop with this lip or you know leave it on an external monitor that you have on your docking station or anything like that. You can also set this thing down on a table if you wanted to and just kind of stack it up and it'll sit as such. So you don't even need anything to kind of manage um, its deployment because you can just put this on your desk and aim the camera in the direction that you need. The design of this is really, really nicely done and cleverly thought out. 
One final thing with the design of this camera is at the bottom of this base, there's a quarter 20, which will allow you to put any kind of quick release plate if you wanted to, or mount it directly to uh, one of those handheld tripods or anything like that. And that's, that's a really nice touch and a really nice inclusion if I do say so myself, because this allows you to move it from other places in your desk setup uh, on your desk without having to have it on top of your monitor or on top of your laptop. Finally, the uh, one thing that I think is a, a huge selling point for me is on this camera is that the power cable and the USB data cable is not integrated within the body of the camera. It has this single USB type C port, which allows you to change out the cable if needed. For a comparison's sake, for those of you out there that own the WebEx 4K camera, which is here in this hand, um, this is uh, how they compare physically. Uh, there is a significant difference in like material build and weight. The 4K camera weighs significantly more and is of much more premium build. That's not to negate or take away anything from the Cisco uh, desk camera. It's just to state, you know, that this is more of an affordable, economic uh, solution to uh, widely uh, various deployments in like an IT situation. So this 1080p camera here is much smaller in, in stature and is easily uh, concealable. But again, there is similarities between the two. There's just uh, plastic body housing. This one has an aluminum housing. Um, so you will notice the difference. Or if you were a person that had the 4K camera and wanted to add additional cameras to your setup, this might be the more economical choice and allow you to have the same type of cameras uh, in different setups that you know offer the same types of features. Uh, just food for thought, you know, here's the two cameras in a side-by-side -side comparison. Before we move on, I wanna say ignore all of the stuff behind me. I'm undergoing a significant studio renovation and this is the result of that. So my office is in absolute shambles. This Cisco desk camera offers and delivers some of the best video and audio of webcams in similar price ranges. It has pretty deep integration with the WebEx app for Windows and Mac OS, which give you guys or the users full access to a lot of the camera settings. So you can you know, dial in your audio or your video in, in any way, shape or form that you would like, uh, with certain limitations, of course. There's a firmware upgrade feature that this thing has that you can go directly to Cisco's website and download the firmware without having WebEx or the companion app installed on your computer. So if you were like a streamer or something, you can use this thing uh, separately without it complicating your system. Um, but if you want to take full advantage of everything, the WebEx app and the companion system or the companion app offer a lot of uh, granular adjustments to the camera. With the companion app, I see that there's a huge benefit for smaller IT departments in helping manage um, deployments of this peripheral amongst its staff. All this portion of the video has been captured using the Cisco desk camera. Um, I think that the quality that this thing produces is really great. You know, the two onboard omnidirectional microphones as well as the video that's being captured through this thing is really good. I haven't done any special treatment to this room. Uh, I have two lamps on and that's it. And my office is in shambles, as you can see. I haven't done any noise room treatment or anything like that. And uh, I think it's it does a really good job. But again, it doesn't matter what I think. It matters what you think. So leave me a comment down below uh, on what you think that this camera has to offer. Uh, if you like the quality, if you like the audio, just let me know with the comment down below. So here's a quick tour of the Cisco WebEx desk camera companion app with the Cisco desk camera. With that being said, let's go ahead and hop right into this by talking about the camera settings and what you can do with this camera. First and foremost, I wanna talk about the field of view. This has a 83 degree field of view. So if I were to open this up, you can see that all the madness that's going on behind me. And if you wanna take further control or granular control over what the other person on the other end sees, you can shrink that in. So let's go ahead and say, oh, no, nope, that's not enough. Uh, 70 is not enough. And I'm gonna go back to 65. And if I wanna try to hide that even more, I can zoom in on the camera to a certain point to where it gets really uncomfortable. But just so you know that this is available to you, uh, you can also modify the resolution. So if you have a bandwidth issue or something like that and you want to shrink it down so the person on the other end can still kind of see you, you can do that here as well. And you can change the frame rate. You can go into image settings as well. If you can do all kinds of stuff with the autofocus, you can turn it on or off. So if I were to turn this off, I can 
put myself into focus manually. So then it's not jumping. I can leave it there because I know I'm going to be sitting in this spot. Um, it's not distracting to the other people on the other end of the line or anything like that. That's a really cool feature. You can adjust the white balance as well. So if you're, you know, a stickler for uh, going to certain degrees of Kelvin. One thing that I wish that this uh, application had was, you know, 2700 Kelvin so I could enter a specific number and then it would jump to that. That's something that Cisco should consider adding uh, in the future with firmware updates. You can also add brightness to the image. So say you don't have control over you know, your light situation or something like that. Uh, you can't turn on lights or anything like that. You can add artificial light and it does a pretty good job. I mean, you can see my face here is starting to get blown out. If I were to go all the way to the top, then it gets really intense. So I'm going to leave that around the center of it. And you can also uh, sharpen this up. Uh, another cool thing about this uh, webcam is that you can do the auto anti flicker, uh, you know, with frequencies and stuff, some LEDs may flicker in your setup. Uh, if you were to turn this off, you have a, a selection of 60 or 50 hertz. That's really cool. Microphone settings. There's not a whole lot here. I wish they would allow you to make more granular adjustments to what the settings here are on the microphone because uh, this is kind of playing the guessing game. And I've noticed in my usage that if it's th around this low, this input level isn't accurate for the end user. Also, the omnidirectional noise canceling stuff on this uh, webcam is really strong. So it sounds like it's like pausing and whatnot. There's a really high noise gate on it. So when you're quiet, it cuts it off and then it sounds like, you know, like a wavy thing. If you want to take a listen, you can uh, scroll back and listen to the sample video that I caught with this in this video and you'll, you'll kind of get what I'm talking about there. I wish they had a little bit more granular control over this, maybe a noise gate you know, selection. There's a lot of room here, Cisco. Let's start adding some stuff. Appearance, you can go dark or light. I'm going to leave it there. You can change where your media is captured based off of this. Uh, any updates that are available for your camera. Support information, camera info, about. So if you need any terms of service or anything like that. And ultimately, there's a reset all button here. So let's go ahead and open the WebEx app and I'll show you. There's also things here that you can take control of when it comes to like your camera settings. So if you go in here and go to video, there's another set of uh, settings that you can adjust, but they're not as granular as the companion app. So you're going to want to download the companion app if you're going to use this camera in any way, shape or form uh, for any mediums. If you're going to use it for video conferencing or something like that, or you're going to use it for streaming. So if I hop into the advanced settings, you're literally just given the field of view adjustments with this. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that's lost when you come back to this. The companion app gives you a lot more, you know, resolution adjustments and you can zoom even at that further field of view. It still gets really uncomfortable, right? And you can also adjust like where the center of the camera is without moving it. I think that's, that's a, those are cool, but you miss it if you're not in the companion app. One thing that the companion app doesn't offer is this virtual background. So if I were to throw that on, that gets, uh, this is weird to me but it helps me hide all that crap behind there um so i'm gonna do none i could do blur that helps you don't really know what's going on behind me that about does it for the companion app let's go ahead and get back into this video the cisco desk camera is a pretty awesome little camera from my limited use experience it's definitely earned a spot within my workspace however when it comes to producing content for this youtube channel i'm going to go for cisco's webex desk camera that one offers 4K video quality, which is a pretty great solution for streamers and content creators. The, the WebEx desk camera that offers 4K resolution comes in at $225 at the time of this video, and that's a pretty affordable option in my opinion. As for the Cisco desk camera, that will set you back $125. For this feature set, that's not too bad of a deal in my opinion. However, for this price, I wish Cisco would have included a USB-C to USB-C cable in the box. If anything, they could have included a dongle to you know a, a kind of account for those things considering that most modern computers laptops desktops or the like have a USB-C 
uh, port on them. If you're interested in pricing the Cisco desk camera out for yourself, hit the link in the description to get the details on current pricing and availability. Keep in mind the link in the description is part of the Cisco sponsorship of this video. So clicking that link and making purchases through it helps me a ton. It shows Cisco that they made the right decision in reaching out to collaborate with me. So if you do go that route, thanks a ton in advance for that. If you want to shop through other retailers, I'll leave my affiliate links down in the description as well. Please be aware that those are my affiliate links and shopping through them helps support content creation here on this channel without costing you anything in addition to the orders that you make through them. Well, that about does it for me in this one. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, you know what to do. Thank you for taking the time to watch. I'm Tomas and I will catch you in the next one.